10 minutes to change your mind. Hi, my name's Carl Schilling, and I'm going to be your daily facilitator. Now, look, we're going to talk about a lot of different things, but it's all going to be about how to attain financial independence. And why would anyone listen to me? Well, over time that we spent together, you're going to learn more and more about my very diverse background. And of course, you can go to LinkedIn at any time and you can look me up and you can read my bio and my background. But every minute we spend together is valuable. And talking about me is not going to make any difference in your life. So it, this is not about me. But here is a painful fact that we can start off with. No one likes to hear this. But your present condition is basically a direct result of your own mindset. So what you have uh, created right now in your life is due to your own thoughts, okay? Your thoughts have created your own reality. Now, many, many people, most people refuse to believe this, but it's a universal law. The universal law of gravity is the same, okay? It's the same. This is cause and effect, reaping and sowing. But the universal law of gravity is one people are all very familiar with. So if you went up on top of a building and you jumped off and you didn't believe in gravity or you didn't accept it, it would make no difference because the same result would happen every time. And you wouldn't get but one shot at it. But every time jumping off a building would result in you uh, uh, finding out about the law of gravity and probably splatting on the sidewalk. OK, so this law universally is the power of your creative mind. And that's what we're going to be constantly talking about on a daily basis. And what does this have to do with your money? It has everything to do with your money. It has everything to do with you being successful. And we're going to go over a little example of that today, okay? But let's, uh, let's consider this concept today of success, right? Consider, if you will, the symbol of failure in our society. You know, what would that be? Well, uh, I think most people could see it in a uh, skid row, a visit to skid row, and you would see a lot of people who are looked down upon and people who are considered, uh, sadly, the dregs of society, right? And they would be labeled as failures. And people look at them and, and, and have sympathy and, and feel like, geez, you know, they are failures. But let's dig deeper. Let's do a deeper dive. Let's look and find out who these people are and why, more than likely, they're more successful than most of society. Now, that's a strange, strange comment, but I'm going to show you, and then you're going to scratch your head and say, wow, I never considered that, but they are probably more successful than most of the uh, people uh, walking around uh, our society today, okay? So let's look at this closely. What's the daily goal and focus of a person who's a skid row inhabitant. Think about that. What is their daily goal and what is um, their focus? Well, basically their focus is to get a bottle. They need to fill the addictive need for booze. Now, how often do they fulfill that need? Well, basically 100% of the time. Now, I don't know too many people who are called successes in our society, who are working on a 100% scale. But these people are. Now, what's the problem there? Okay, so why is their life in such disarray and turmoil? And why is their life basically, you know, so uh, appeared upon to be habitual failure, when in essence, they are tremendously successful? Well, the problem is that they really have a very unworthy goal and the focus for that goal which is driven by the addictive mindset, okay? Because they have a physical addiction to alcohol, which has probably driven them into the depths of where they are, but that does not change the mindset that they have and the focus of that mindset and the success that comes from the focus of that mindset. So really, we need to have, if it were possible, not a physical addiction, but our mindset should be addicted to the focus of what it is we truly want to do in life, that burning desire. What is that burning desire? So that's really the first principle of success. It requires an addictive mindset. It, it requires the ability to say, hey, I got this focus. I visualized it. I'm working towards it every single day, but it's a burning desire. 
okay? It's something for which you will not be stopped. So nothing can get in the way. Nothing will stop that thought in your mind. Now, when you're able to do this, you're able to become financially independent because nothing is, is interfering, right? Nothing can interfere. So you have to ask yourself, you have to work on some things with this, okay? So let's, let's dig a little on that side of it, okay? Um, what are your primary uh, addictions right now in your thought process that's interfering with your success? What are those things? Now, this is where, as we work together, you need to get a journal. You need to get a journal, and every day you need to write down some of these things, because if I challenge you on something, I'm going to want you to put it down on paper and consider it. You know, you don't have to go into deep thought, but just consider it. So there's something, if you're not where you want to be right now, if you're not as successful as you feel you should be, if you haven't achieved that which you really believe you could have or should have, then there's something wrong in your mindset. There's some force of an addictive mindset that's interfering with your ability to make the proper changes and be successful. Now, let me tell you this. I can't make the change for you. Now, I could facilitate and give you some really good thought processes and give you some really good principles and tips and kind of help you through this, but it's not my job to change you because I can't change you. No one can change you. Only you can change you. Now, I can help facilitate that change, and I can help share things with you that you're unaware of. There's four stages of mindset for people. Most people are in a state of unaware. They're unaware. They don't know what they don't know, and they don't know that they don't know. And because of that, they're never going to know. Does that make sense? You can't know what you don't know. Now, the next stage is aware. At aware, you become aware. So you you listen to uh, the podcast and we're talking and we're giving you some principles. Now you say, oh, wasn't aware of that. Now I'm aware. Okay. At aware, you now know something you didn't know. And that's great. So now you have that information. You know something you didn't know and you know something that you should have known, maybe possibly, or just something that now you do know. That brings you to awareness. At awareness, I want you to remember all these stages. At awareness, you can now do something with that uh, being aware. You can now effectively use it. You can use it in your daily life. You can make an impact. You can make a change in your life because you have awareness. And the last stage is wisdom. At wisdom, you can actually help other people come through the four stages, unaware, aware, awareness, and wisdom. So that's a lot to digest for one day, I know. But look, what you really need to understand is uh, my nickname for a long time was Mad Dog. And I, uh, and over time, you'll hear me occasionally, I get pissed off uh, about a lot of things that uh, they can't, those things cannot really piss me off. I mean, I choose to become pissed off, but, but here's the deal. The thing that uh, really aggravates me more than anything in life, the thing I hate is mediocrity. Mediocrity is the acceptance, the simple acceptance of what state you're in and where you're at. You just accept it. You just go with the flow. You've just given in, right? And you feel like I can't go any further. This is it. I'm just happy doing this. I just don't want to be bothered. I want to get through this every single day. I want you to come here with me every day and be challenged. When I challenge you, you will get a chance for greatness. You will get a chance to achieve the greatness you have, not mine, but yours. And that greatness will come because you're willing to take the steps make the thoughts, find the focus, and do the things you need to do in order to be very successful. I want to thank you so much for your time and get back here tomorrow with me because remember, we've got 10 minutes to change your mind. And I want to be there every single day to facilitate and help you change your mind.